Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Game Over Outdoors. I'm Joel Miller, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of having a noisy crankbait in your box when you're fishing some of these little stream settings, especially in the springtime. Now, uh, one characteristic of a lot of these smaller streams this time of year is this. And that is less than eight inches of visibility. And if you fish these creeks regularly, you know, this time of year especially, that you're gonna run into that scenario where you get two inches of rain out of nowhere and your creeks come up and they flood and then you're waiting on them to come down they're finally starting to get down to right fishable level, right clarity. And the day before you go fish, here comes another two inches of rain and it all blows out again. So a lot of your times to actually get on some fish are those last couple days before the next front rolls through and dumps two inches of rain. So you're ideally not going to be fishing what you want to fish as far as clarity goes you're going to have that less than a foot of visibility and this is where the noisy crankbaits come in so fishing the crankbaits in the creeks especially i mean it's no secret um it's nothing new but just from my experience all of these crankbaits catch fish but there's some that stand out better than others in that kind of a scenario right there Today's focus is on probably my favorite one to fish in these creeks when it's this dirty, and it's the Lungeon Lures 22 Short SS. So it's it's a shallower running 22 short. It's a square bill, um, and as with most square bill crankbaits, it has that ability to bounce around and not get hung up as badly as other crankbaits. Now I fished a lot of square bills out there, and this one has by far exceeded my standards for crawling capabilities. Um, there's not too many that really hold a candle to this bait. It crawls over everything. And when you're fishing water that's this dirty, you're not seeing half of the stuff that you're going to be bumping into down there. So having a bait with that ability to crawl over top of everything and still come out clean is very important. Now, if you're like me and fish some of the same stretches over and over again, then you're probably going to find those logs the hard way through trial and error but there's always some surprises in there. And knowing where some of this structure is, is another key part to these noisy crankbaits is being able to pinpoint where those fish are uh, located on some of this structure and beating those crankbaits into them. So not only are you getting the, the noise from this 22 short, but you're also banging that cover, giving it even more rattle and you're contacting the cover, making that click as well. And a lot of times that's a good uh, strike triggering point in this, uh, this dirty water. So what I have for you today is uh, a few segments that I've pieced together over the last couple of years of using these 22 shorts in this, in this type of scenario. When it's early, it's still cold. It's back and forth from hot to cold and you never know what, you're, what they're really gonna go on that day. When it's this dirty and this cold, my go-to in my in my lineup of go-to baits the 22 short ss is at the top of them
Do. Just bring it to the net. Bring it to the net. I got her. I got her. <laughs> oh That's a good fish. <laughs> oh my and guess what? You can get her. Go up high. Yeah. Now right meet there? your thumb where your index fingers right here in this right Yep. Now support her belly. Right here. Yep. That's fine. All right. Let's do this. Oh yeah. This is gonna be golden. Boom. All right. Good. Yep, they're good. Down the water. Yep. He flared up and missed it. Or he just barely chomped it. He come right out of that brush pile when I figure it had passed it. Scared me. <laughs> How big? Might have been 30. back out of there again. Well, I, I ripped it through some brush and I watched him shoot out. Oh, there he is. Ah, he might make 30, don't you think? Found out what it was. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. That fish is bleeding. We're gonna have to do some surgery probably. Look at that. Give me a little rest down there. All right, so got to the bottom of the stretch and I switched to the 22 short SS and I was casting down around this show and this one came up and just grabbed it right at the end of my figure eight. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can see from those clips, it seems to be a pretty effective bait in some of these nastier conditions like this. So if you haven't checked them out yet, go online, look at Lungeon's website, look at Musky Tackle online. It's on most pages now because um, it's been out for a few years. Um, but definitely go on there and get you a few different colors of them because they are also effective in clear water. It's just I'm really highlighting these dirtier conditions today because it really seems to stand out above the rest of them when it comes to these conditions. So hopefully you enjoyed those clips and uh, picked up some information from this episode. Hopefully we'll see you next time on another episode of Game Over Outdoors.